Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the week one of Oz Fortress Premiere Season 24. I am Concord. This is Sly for our first casted match of the season. And with me today is obviously our all and favorite Dane Beater. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. It's going to be very fun to see what's in store for us for this season 24 of Oz Fortress. I just saw season, I, I watched a bunch of demos from season 21, so I am like three seasons behind so i can't wait to actually catch up you know it's gonna be <laughs> a lot of fun but yeah these, these all sports games they're, they're always so much fun for me to cast and you know whenever i don't have work and i get to spend my morning just watching some aussie tf2 that is a good day and of course we have all that being brought to you by v2 from production so i'm absolutely looking forward to this yeah definitely and uh it's nice to see uh aussie uh, Oz DF2 definitely showing its mark here on the scene. Now we have for today's match, it is going to be unanimous confusion but versus Butterfly Effect. Butterfly Effect is on blue, meanwhile, unanimous confusion on red. So, Peter, uh, do you know any of these players on both teams? Um, so, blue team, that is the uh, Butterfly Effect, I believe. And I, I don't know very many of them, I, I have to, to say. I, I think, like, Shupa sounds familiar to me, and RSN, I think I, I've seen before. Like, I might have seen a couple of them, but they're very much a big unknown to me. There's, like, a guy called just, like, ah, just, like, a bunch of A's in a row. I think that's Gooseman, but probably going to just end up calling him Infinite A or whatever. But we'll see. But, no, I really don't feel like I, I know these teams well enough to, to really talk about them with any confidence. The other team, though, uh, much more familiar looking to me. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I recognize the name Faithless and Fay half from a band. That's also from both teams, but not an entire team as a whole. So it'll be interesting to see how both teams will uh, perform on the maps, which is going to be Gullywash first and then Snakewater later. Gullywash, uh, with the current setup, is very much same old, same old. You can't deny uh, the status quo about it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty uh, indisputable. So let's just go through the roster of Unanimous Confusion. And uh, it's going to be Spade on on pocket i believe maybe it's romer and then we have i believe ben yeah he's gonna be there on scout i think i saw him play a bunch of different classes uh, i'm just gonna assume he's gonna be playing the same thing that he's playing inside uh, the game right now with the scout and then we have deft on demo man i thought he was a uh, pretty pretty impressive a, a bunch of times so i uh, absolutely a guy i'm gonna keep my eyes on because i think he's gonna do some absolutely great things and then who else do we have? Like, we, looks like we have like, a bunch of players that are not really using their real name. So I think Ray's is a real name and he's playing Scout. And then... Uh, all right, okay. They're, they're currently in the in the process of fixing the Knicks. I, I, I'm going to guess half wrong is going to be a soldier and then maybe I'm going to have like Hypo or Burko. Or, no, probably Fane is probably a more likely candidate to be uh, another player in there. But yeah. Definitely a team that I recognize a lot more, and just based off of that, I'm going to say that they are a favorite to win this. I, I looked at some of the the logs from the warm up games, and it, both teams won their warm up games pretty handily, but uh, Unanimous Confusion definitely won more convincingly, and they also played against what I would say is a pretty good team as well. They played against Sanders' team. So, yeah, that's definitely a, a good. <laughs> good little direction to go in if you want to win, right? Just beat a good team. Yeah. All right. So on the blue side, it is going to be a butterfly effect. Chupa, I believe, is going to be either Omer or Pocket. I assume it's going to be the latter. Lunar will be on Scout. He's man on Demo. Faithless on Scout. Uh, RSN on the Soldier and Mac on the Medic as we are going live for the uh, first mid, mid of the Match here, I am seeing from the eyes of Butterfly Effect, but it is going to be the demo of Unanimous Confusion, confusion Death that arrives first as the team starting to uh, fight on mid. 
no cracks as of yet, but Kuner goes down to raise and Ferdy finished off by RSN and it is still uh, a very very interesting mid so far. Raise Ben, there goes uh, unanimous confusion with the convincing mid actually. Yeah, dude, we saw some some players try to go behind. They initially just absorbed uh, a bunch of aggression really well, and then they had a sword to go behind. That was faint. It actually got called out really easily, but it actually caused a lot of players to just walk back and and to deal with him. And so it just allowed everyone else from Unanimous Confusion to just walk forward and just get a ton of work done. And then once the, the counter aggression came in, they just uh, managed to pick everyone off basically one by one and managed to just force everyone else out. But Mac did survive, so it's going to be an even Ubers. Look like Spade might be going for some sort of uh, little jump in there. Faithless is going to be not a sentry gun, but uh, the next best thing is going to be a heavy with the brass beast just waiting there to be headshot and or something like that. But uh, there's no sniper yet, so it's just going to be a matter of how will this be approached by unanimous confusion. Yeah, uh, Ray's sneakily going under water now. Might get a cap. Cap has been uh, initiated, but Ben will eventually goes down to Shuba. That's five, six there. Almost gotten taken down. And uh, no attempts again from Unanimous Confusion after that uh, last one. And it's going to be still a stalemate from both teams. None so far is trying to attempt to push either from their last or to last. And Peter, we have our stuff a stalemate. Yeah, and, you know, I was kind of a little bit confused as to why nobody else was going for a play. Normally, when you see a scout go into water like that, you see Ooh, like Ben's a sort of jump in. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's just because Ben wanted to go sniper. He's like, I'm just going to go sniper, guys. I'm just going to suicide in there. Don't worry about it. We're just going to take it slow. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there. Uh, so that's why they didn't go for any kind of play. I would have liked to see them actually send in a soldier at the same time as uh, the scout put pressure on the point because sometimes you just cap out the point, sometimes it just distracts so that the soldier can get in there really easily. But as, as it is, it's just going to be Ben going on snipe. He's going to go for the shot. He actually gets a nice view onto the medic there. That was uh, completely uncontested and he's actually got a really nice angle and he's not being pressured very much. So they definitely want to see Butterfly Effect put more pressure onto River than the sniper doesn't get him, give him an angle. Yeah, definitely. Uh, ben was going to see from the elevated position there. Lunar is trying to counter snipe to no uh, avail there. None again. The Thames nor uh, frags coming out from both teams as they still stuck in middle. As I say that, Shuba with the press tap shot fairly. And Ben trying to do something. Now he's stuck on uh, water there with nowhere to go unless he crossed over. The scout might get a cheeky <laughs> kill there and there we go. Lunar finally takes out Ben. This should be an attempt as I say but Death caught, caught, uh, getting uh, faithless with the cheeky uh, trap there. And it's back to square one for both teams. Uh, just simple fate that m was leading to something but to no result. Looks like we're going to have a bit of a different approach right now. And it's uh, the, like, the Soldier in Riverside. He gets air shot, but he was uh, pretty tanky when he jumped in. So he's going to be fine, but he will force everyone else out. But Ben is not on Sniper this time around. So they're going to do something else. And they might just do a push in. Okay, Soldier's actually going to jump in. He gets air shot, but he gets in on Mac. Look at Mac. He's four. It's peak. How is he alive? Oh, That is so Lord. brave. Jesus. Not milking as well. He still has his Uber. It is going to be... Mac with the clutch milk, a very dangerous clutch there to uh, save. Yeah. Like literally a scout back. just chip shotting him what would have killed him. So that just goes to show that you really want to just have everyone else focus in there and just do any kind of chip shot, right? Like just a scout in, in main just doing like a single chip shot and he would have been dead. So just <laughs> absolutely brave there by Mac, almost to the point oh, of losing it. We're but we're seeing something here, so you're jumping in again. Oh, he drops. gets it! Spade with the flash there finally takes down Mac. This is a perfect opportunity. As we, as I said, that Uber pop from the red team there. No cracks as of yet. Uber finally goes down. Death killing two. But I think this is the end. As unanimous confusion with the amazing pick to Mac and then the Uber push afterwards, taking the first point. 
Yeah, the first time around there was a soldier in his face and he somehow managed not to drop. And then the second time around, the soldier, he was just getting completely stuffed there. He was just getting suspended in midair, but he still got off the perfect rocket and Mag actually dropped to him. So uh, a high and low of Medic right there. Drop's going to be what takes it down. But uh, we have a mid-fight already and Spade has gone down. You see a lot of pressure coming in here from RSN just jumping across the point. Everyone is actually super aggressive and just everyone from Unanimous Confusion has just been completely chewed up and that's going to be a mid. how low Mac it is. Mac, oh, it, yeah. Mac was below one fourth of his health. Almost, almost died. You, Butterfly of Mac with the convincing mid in return to what Butterfly of uh, Unanimous Confusion did on the first mid and now they are rolling through uh, last. I don't believe how Frong was dead. I'll, oh. Alfrong was uh, killed earlier on the mid fight during. Oh no! Death! Sorry to out of my own there. Death uh, getting out Supa with a trap there as too bad that that's the seventh man of the sentry. Oh, that's Pyro though, completely stops. Yeah, oh, it just stops oh. everything. So immediately, right, so they lost the soldier before the uber came in but they had a big uber advantage so they kind of had to go anyway but then the pyro just completely stuffed everything and then the sentry gun as well yeah just had so much knockback that everything else just got completely rattled around no way they were ever going to make it in there so a really nice hold coming out here and unanimous confusion they're going to have an uber advantage now to boot going into middle but pushing into middle can be pretty uncomfortable even with an uber advantage yeah, uh, as we see now, the combo of the unanimous conviction coming down from a uh, joke. Trooper getting caught up by Spade as mid goes uncontested by Butterfly Effect as the unanimous conviction caps off the mid and coming drop down to Joe. Uh, damage has been uh, dealt out to the teams here. The demo is caught up. He dropped. Matt dropped. Gizman as uh, the Uber has been popped from both teams, whether Uber from Red, now it should be de dead here. RSN as well, Spade uh, destroying Lunar, and this should be a comfortable uh, push here from Unanimous Confusion. Yeah, and they're just gonna keep on barreling, you know, just taking a fight straight up. They have some time on the point, it's actually gonna do a ton of it. And there we go. They didn't need the time on the point even. They just took the DM fight. They just went, no, no, we have better DM. We're just gonna go in and yeah, that's exactly what happened. So just hitting more shots, doing more damage, and then just snowballed out of control. And they get it. So that, that's a very confident move, but it, it worked out for them really well. And that's gonna make it 2-0. to zero. Yeah, definitely as we see now, the third mid already is 2 0 to Yenna's confusion. As we see now, no frags as of yet. Lunar has been killed by Ferdy. As half rock medic killed by Shupa. Shupa eventually goes down to spade by a ball damage. Uh, as the combo of butterfly effect trying to do something. RSN man killed by Ben. Faithless Gooseman. Uh, spade is the only, uh, is the only kill, uh, killer. Spade as you know in the region, uh, definitely takes the third mid, even though half wrong is dead. So yeah, it was it, really there's my strong. Team. It was very strong coordinated aggression coming out there from Yanana's confusion. They just jumped in their soldiers and ran people across the point, and they did a ton of damage. And everyone else was just getting completely spread out, and there, there was just very little cohesion to be found after a short while in that fight for butterfly effect and so now they're gonna be have to just defend last they did get half wrong so max gonna be at a slight uber disadvantage but i don't think unanimous confusion are gonna be aware of this uh, they have been building really well so maybe they're gonna go for a dot push i like to do this sometimes where just both men spawn at the same time but we just i just make sure that my team builds super fast and then we just dot push right because maybe oh yeah that's exactly what they're gonna do the medic mac he doesn't have it yet he's on 97 and they oh, get it no. wow they just the DM, as I wanted to see it. The DM from Unanimous Confusion goes uh, uncontested as they will get 3 0 for this match. 20 minutes remaining. Every time we see the last push from Unanimous Confusion, you know that's a cap. And now we are coming down for, for the fourth mid here. 3 0 again to Unanimous Confusion as we wait for both teams to arrive on mid. 
no frags oh, as shit. of yet. Juba's gonna actually go super aggressive onto the demo man, but he will not be able to find him. He'll actually go down immediately. However, the other sword has gone down as well. Looks like Arsene's gonna go forward very aggressively, but he will get taken down as well. So, so far, everyone who crosses that middle will just get chewed up. Ben is in super aggressive though. Actually takes down Mac and even does a ton more work. And that killed Guzman as well. Yeah. It's crazy efficiency there on Ben, just 1v4-ing them and actually getting away with it uh, ahead. Yeah, uh, I, I think what we see, what we are seeing from Blood of Fire is they're... I don't know what the problem is, but I felt they're too, either too aggressive, and when the aggressiveness of their first attempt failed, they just fall. They just fall and the unanimous confusion drives off of that. As I said that Ben told Shupal already as we waited for the last eventual last push. Spade uh, my goodness how wrong is in full ad. Now Uber has been popped the seven man of the century pushing back the Uber the viral as well. Holding the combo onto the uh, water there as there's a scout there on the nobody's noticing him. That's a create an amazing distraction. No avail as Duty managed to regain position and Mac adds a saw to the soldier before he died earlier and it's going to be an uber advantage for Butterfly Effect. This pyro has just been completely shutting down these pushes so hard and I've kind of noticed that the soldiers are they're actually focusing the sentry gun before the pyro is dead. So I think what they really need to do is just focus literally every single eye and just crosser onto that pyro before they begin focusing on anything else. Because as it is, they're kind of being scatterbrained about it and not committing fully to it. But actually, we're going to see a drop down push coming out here. The Omen's going to jump in super aggressively. Guzman just pipes down Ben and then the sword comes in as well. Actually, gets oh, the Devil Man. Ben this and aggression. Killed. And again, RSN killed you to 30. And uh, this should be an easy cap for uh, Butterfly Effect as we see now Faithless kills Raze, Faith kills Shuba, Uber has been popped, uh, Mac is in low health but he managed to pop the Uber. Mac with a beautiful serve managed to get out from Big Door as the wow. team uh, regroups. A very nice recovery from the failed push from Butterfly Effect as they retreat back to kill and unanimous confusion uh, caps mid. Yeah, that, that was a really good uh, Uber coming out there from half wrong and his, his pocket in that situation. They did a ton of work. The only downside is that the, the medic uh, surfed out through big door, so that was a, a huge play coming out from Mac, but it doesn't really change the situation that much. It's still a very perilous fight coming in onto the oh, second Max point. Oh, Max on low health, just a single stray rocket. Oh, air pipe from Gooseman, though. What the? Not gonna be oh, enough. Oh, oh. Well, it Wait, might be. Actually, it is isn't. Frags. Enough. What? Trading frags all over. And it's actually unanimous confusion that's going to fall for this attempt. Peter, that's wow. Yeah, they just uh, once again we, we saw unanimous confusion. They take these very confident fights where they just kind of assume that they have the better DM. So Spade has actually gone into the drop down. He's like, he's gonna oh, jump a up. Surprise soldier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Followed up by a surprise team as well. But all this aggression, it has been completely just stunted and everyone else will just go out of there so it looks like maybe uh, butterfly effect they're kind of catching on to what they're doing and they're just kind of taking it, these fights straight up and actually just abusing it and getting the better of these fights however both Ubers have been exchanged now and the uber is slightly better right now for unanimous confusion but there is a soldier behind but he, oh he's been spotted okay he was not behind for long yeah uh, very much at the time but, uh, RSN eventually goes down as was Butterfly Effect trying to do a uh, push there from Big Door as United was going to be getting a manhunt there for the Butterfly Effect combo. Might admit that, oh no, Faithless got uh, caught on there by Spade. Now we're looking at a hold probably as many of the team members still alive, but they'll probably stay on lobby. Guzman eventually killing Ferdy. And the second point will go to unanimous confusion as we are seeing another last hold and RSN the... trying to do something to hold it. I'm not sure what can. RSN was trying to do right there. Like I am guessing he was going for the medic, but it seemed really weird. He just jumped into four players and I got think he, he watched it. Like he failed the jump, so he decided to prolong the time. As I say that 
this man a uh, pipe right there. And that's gonna be the, the beginning of, of a small stand with his spade. He has a perfect opportunity now to go for an off class. He may, he may go for sniper or spy. He may just go for soldier. He might go for a banner. He has a ton of options right now. And I'm excited to see what he decides to do. Looks like he's gonna go soldier with gunboats. All right, that was boring. But right. <laughs> they're just gonna go for a normal play. And we have seen really good success for, for soldiers jumping in there and getting the medic to, to either drop or come extremely close to death. But there's a sentry gun that they need to deal with first now. I, I like the sentry gun positioning. Okay. Uh, that will stop soldiers really hard. So they need to spam that down first. Yeah, but if it's only the sentry gun only, uh, as I was saying, it would be not as effective as people thought it would be. Pyro uh, and sentry gun uh, is the perfect combo for the denial. Uh, RSN goes down to Verdi trying to uh, uh, keep it there. Spade got absolutely denied there on the attempt to uh, do a drop from the heavy and the scout there. And again, we are seeing another mind games essentially from both teams which is going to fall first as the off classes and the seven man is up from uh butterfly effect gonna be spade on sniper so he's gonna make his way in there he act we actually saw before that the sniper wasn't really getting pressured a whole lot uh ben didn't get any drop onto the medic but he had plenty of opportunities so if we get anyone, <laughs> with a sentry down, sentry down. That was uh, the brass beast heavy. I mentioned it earlier. Like it's the easiest snipe in the world when he's just kind of sitting around there. All right, and now we have Spade in this riverside where before he wasn't really being pressured very hard. Max, Max horse, Max is horse. Nice. This should be a uh, an ad for unanimous confusion. Lunar goes down. This is the perfect opportunity for unanimous confusion to get their fourth round here. Uber has been popped, there, but they haven't done anything yet. That's a failed Uber for, for the red team. They had to back out, and it is going to be another uh, build up the Uber and back to square one. Yeah, the, the good news here is that even though they kind of wasted that counter Uber, they didn't really get anything done. They got bounced around a whole lot, but they still oh, have the sniper. One. Uh, yeah, Guzman going down, that's really good. That means you can put pressure on under the point. If the scout just runs into water, like Ben is in position where he could run into the water, never mind, he decides not to. But yeah, you can definitely do that. And then you have Spade, you can just snipe through main or just anywhere else really, and you do a ton of work. And Spade, he's not really being pressured that hard, so there's going to be a lot of open opportunities. So if all things just kind of keep going the way they are, it's just going to be a matter of time before he gets Spade's an important pick. Feet. Spade taking peak, uh, did a considerable amount of damage to Guzman there as Spade was forced to back out by the Pyro. Spade again with a uh, peak there, gaining no kills or damage. As we see now, Shopa! I didn't even see Shopa getting the headshot on Spade, then killing the Pyro of Fateless here as 5v5, another Spade frag trade. Kupa is so low, almost getting caught on there as, again, another stalemate as we waited for what else that both teams could do to break this. And we got another attempt here. It's going to be a spy instead of a sniper. You know, Ooh. it's uh, it's always a good idea. And they're probably expecting a sniper. But, you know, it is also a pretty obvious situation to go spy. So maybe... It's not going to work out, but so far no one's really looking this direction. And there's and no pyro as well, so this is the perfect opportunity for... Uh, and, Sh and Shupa goes down! And Shupa goes down! Oh, here comes the spy. And he's, he's got a target. He's, he didn't find anyone. There we go. What? He actually gets the scout. How? Yeah, that, he, he just whiffed like two super spurs. Pop, super pop from red team! Oh they no, Mac goes down! Mac goes down, oh no! This is the that perfect is... opportunity from Unanimous Confusion! That's for Rogue! What's happening? Basically, wow. if you can think of it going wrong, it went wrong there. I, I'm not sure it why Mac all dropped kinds though. Of wrong. Yeah, that was a bad drop for Mac because he saw everything that was gonna happen and he just didn't he press the button more. in time. They could have done a counter Uber. Yeah, oh, easily. Now we see but... now the fifth bit from this uh, matchup. So you're getting the high jump bomb there as no frags faded 
again. Will we see another? Verdi is trying to get down from uh, drop down. Verdi getting killed by Shoba. And we see now fight on the mid. Ben getting killed by Guzman. Faithless trades. Fade to Shoba. Rara sent to death. Fade to Lunar. And eventually Butterfly effect getting the rest of the kills. A full wipe there. And Butterfly effect should could, could able to get this uh, second quite easily as they might roll on to last. Mids have been pretty even so far, so that's a pretty positive thing. They're just gonna actually go in onto last here. The big Uber advances and nobody's watching right. RSN so far. This could be it. No Uber has been popped. Trying to save Ben. RSN gets it. What a fast round, actually. If you consider the the last four compared to the last four, that was a very fast round. That was a that's a really nice round to to get in there. Absolutely, they were looking like they were just going to get rolled, but they just rolled them right back. And mids have been pretty even, so just taking it in from mid all the way into last is basically making a mid win equal a round win. That's very good. Very oh, aggressive jump go. in there by oh Arsene. My God. That was it's a only the, It's only the Soya remaining. That's a full wipe again. Where was this Butterfly of five four rounds ago? Uh, five rounds ago, I. My, my apologies. They were just rolling down to. Second, second should be capped easily as Shippa is spying there on the lobby uh, for any of Red Team's attempt to push. What is going on? And that is oh, going no, the to be caught on! Gets... Wow! Oh, man. Oh, oh. That's a huge... Like, do you remember nice. what happened, like, literally a minute ago? That's about to happen again if they're not careful. <laughs> yeah, they right. have to be careful. The pirate is popped and... Oh, no. I think we jinxed it. But as it said that Ben and Ray's nobody's watching the point. The point's already there. Oh my god. Frags coming all over from both teams as Guzman finally caps off the point. 2 4 within the span of barely one minute. Butterfly of fact may, may do a comeback here, Peter. Yeah, like. They're, they're down two rounds, but there's seven and a half minutes remaining, and so far the average round win is about 45 seconds. So, you know, that, they can win by like eight at this at this rate. So that's good. Arsene's going to come in, and he has just been absolutely Oh, how strong. Look at the enemy team. He's so low. Should be a stray rocket. Not what? so far. What? How is it? How is he alive? Oh, he actually oh, just survived oh, everything. Man, what they threw... Yeah, they threw everything onto Half Wrong, and Half Wrong, he just danced on them. He was just completely unhittable. Styling, Absol complete style. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's going to be really important, so it's going to be now up the to them. The momentum just... has been switched once again. Now, Unanimous Confusion is back on the helm. Trying to cap second. Should be able to at least go to River here. Uber is on Half Wrong's uh, table here. They have full add max is all on 35%. If anything doesn't go wrong here for unanimous confusion, this, this could be a round from them. Uh, Phases is on Pyro though, and that Pyro has been the absolute bane of unanimous confusion. You can see that they're kind of. Here we go, here we go. Oh, they're, they're focusing the Pyro this time and around. They get him down super quick. The center gun is being focused down as well, so this is going pretty well so far. Sword is going to jump onto the point. Nobody's on the point, damage. nobody's on the point. The new team is trying to do something. The medic and the soldier is only that remains. This could be a fifth round, and it is. Two to five, unanimous confusion. What a round it was. Again, shifting the momentum back. Real butterfly effect. Getting their groove three rounds in a row. Five minutes left. Tearing your comment about 45 seconds average of a um, round win. This could be amazing. Yeah, if you're bored, you're not paying attention because things are just happening. Arsene's going to jump in uh, again, but he gets completely stuffed. He has, isn't dead, but he didn't buy too much space either. And here comes the counter-aggression from Fane. The Soldier actually jumps in onto half wrong, but he's being protected really heavily. So both teams are kind of changed sides, and the Soldiers are being just pushed back there, and eventually everyone else will go down. And Max going to be the only one alive, but he's being chased by Fane. Fane, he is uh, not that healthy. And he gets the first rocket, he gets a second rocket, but no, Guzman's gonna hit a crucial pipe there, and Mac will survive with his life intact. However, he didn't build Uber for a very long time, so there could actually be an Uber push in here, but second is not being capped very quickly either, though, so it might not be a fruitful attempt. Yeah, uh, half wrong here. 
definitely on full uber. Mac is in 80%. Uh, hold here could be possible. Jopa is still great there. And we are seeing now a potential hold here from both teams. Ubers eventually do even out there, so Mac managed to, to build it. And yeah, they, they correct it. They're just going to push out here. They need to push if they want to win this. And this Uber, it's not very good so far, but it has forced a fight. Def's going to do his best to do a ton of damage, and uh, he's doing a really good job of that as people are just getting picked off. But the, the back cap is actually coming out on the second or You know, it's just a push, really. Eventually, they get dealt with, though, and Def just doing a million damage right now. <laughs> Medic's going to go down to another Medic, some German on German violence and that's going to be six to two and that's probably going to be the nail in the coffin for a butterfly effect but you know they can still get a couple of rounds here you know yes, they can get like three rounds <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh definitely possible uh butterfly effect here going to mid as we see now both teams trying to do something uh the aggression from uh blue team goes punished mac gets a solid 30 uh but the frags outweigh more to unanimous confusion uh, with that killing Mac and Luna killing half wrong. Also, for butterfly effects, consolation, Medic's gone, so that would be an even uber situation when it comes to last. It's definitely a situation where you can go crit squeak as half wrong here. You know, you're gonna spawn at the same time as Mac. And let's see if he decides to do it. He is actually on crit squeak. All right. So. Uh, you know, it, make, it makes a lot of sense to go for it in this situation. Second's going to just be, be captured for free. And both men will just build as fast as possible here. And I, I can't wait to see where they decide to go with this Kurtzky. Because Kurtzing into Goliwash is... It's both easy and hard at the same time. Because you're always pretty close to the enemy. So you can, like, crit in a demo man and a soldier. And it's very difficult to hide very far away from the, from the enemy team. However, there's also... It's also pretty choky wherever you go in, so you can just get s just spammed out super hard. But here comes the crit squeak. Oh, we see death here. Death getting back. That's a that's a medic down. That's killing. Oh my three. lord! That's a three K from death. Nail in the coffin. Seven. That's a unanimous win. Contribution. And Gully Wash. Be be there. I uh, try a 4k, like uh, the pipe killed three players. He killed three players with the crit pipes there and uh, he got the medic with the, the crit sticky before that. So that worked out perfectly. They both on, went in through balcony area and just just hit him. <laughs> hit him where oh it hurt, Lord. that's for sure. Like normally you would switch the crit squeak to the soldier when people get in really close, but they just went like, nah, pipes. Pipes are like basically nukes when you, you crit squeak them. So that, that works too. Yeah, definitely a very convincing um, map there from Unanimous Confusion, even though Butterfly Effect showing their medal there with the quick two-round succession win there. And I have the logs now, and the top KD is going to be death, 26 to 8, with the highest damage. It's going to be death also, completely dominating the table, 10k to RSN's 8k. Definitely a bunch of that damage probably came in from the last <laughs> crits, right? That was like over a thousand damage <laughs> just in one crits. Uh, so that, that's really nice. And then I will also just mention that RSN had a really strong game. Those two rounds that they got, that was just RSN just nuking the enemy choke. Just going absolutely ballistic, just hitting the fattest rockets I've ever seen. And doing so much work, uh, both on middle and on to last. So definitely don't uh, discount RSN because he was doing a lot of work right there. But in, at the end of the day, it was definitely a pretty convincing win. And uh, yeah, like Fane, he, he had a pretty bad kid. He, had, he went 11 for 19, but I mean, that's just Roma stuff. You know, he was jumping into heavies and stuff. It's, and he was getting some medic drops in there as well. So he's probably happy enough with things the way they were overall. Yeah, as I want to shift to the, to the medic stats here, half wrong with the better medic stats, of, uh, obviously, to Mac, the, uh, 10, 10 Ubers to, to uh, Max 8, two drops in between uh, for Mac, uh, very much the medics uh, shoulder to shoulder, half wrong, definitely showing his class overall, uh, survivability, and... Uh, Damage dealing. Otherwise, uh, Mac has ten deaths to half wrong six. 
Yeah, Matt Mac also dropped twice, and the the you know we, we saw very early on where he survived with the, basically one HP for, for the soda bomb. That was a really brave hold, and that was pretty impressive. But then he just immediately followed it up by dropping to uh, the second soda bomb, just from perfect rockets hitting him. And then he had that really weird drop where you could just like you could see the demo man putting a sticky at his feet and switching to the pipe launcher. Like wh when that happens, I just pop because like. I'm definitely yeah, getting I, hit by the, by the sticky. Yeah, yeah that was like, weird. So. They, he could have ample of an amount of time to do counter, but I don't know what happened. So uh, let's talk about Snake Warrior, the second map, with the momentum from Gwaliwash. Butterfly Effect could still do some damage here, but still, Yana's Confusion is still the clear favorite, 72. And with Snake Warrior being a more... Maybe close quarters, maybe a, a bit mid-range battle between both. It's hard to tell, but the soldiers definitely will dictate how the battle goes. Yeah, so soldiers are really impactful in Snakewater Middle, and the, the soldiers were doing extremely well for Butterfly Effect on Gollywas Middle already. So like that, that's definitely a point in favor of Butterfly Effect going into this. And... Definitely yeah, worth keeping an eye on. The middles were pretty close overall. Uh, we kind of saw things slipping away from Butterfly Effect at the very end there. But overall, the middle mid fights were, were a pretty even affair. So don't count out there. And then, other than that, um, scouts are a lot better on Snake Water outside of middle. So when, if things get bogged down there, that, that will be really good for scouts. And then also, Sniper is pretty good on Snake Water in general. You don't really see it run to mid very often. But in general, Sniper is very good on Snake Water. And we, we did see much more Sniper come out of uh, Unanimous Confusion. And I'd say they have the better Sniper players uh, just overall. So I, I think it's going to be a somewhat similar situation going into it. Uh, it's going to depend a little bit on how good Unanimous Confusion is at holding last. Because they're, they're probably going to get pushed back to last a whole bunch. But... Snake Water Last is very different from Gollywas, right? Like, there's much more distance to cover. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you say, Sniper, we don't see them on mid, but we definitely see them on the more open fields around second and last there. And to say to your last question, of course, when, uh, when we see Unanimous Confusion on last, when it happens, they were completely destroyed by Battlefield Effect. So there's still not amount of data there to see how well they will do as we see now the first mid of snake water if you're just joining us welcome to the first ever uh, casted match of all fortress season 24 this is going to be unanimous confusion in red and butterfly effect in blue unanimous confusion wins gully was 72 as i see now teams gaining to mid f is the first person to arrive and the chaos ensues yeah, Arzen has taken the, the top ground here, but now both soldiers are going to come in here. It's actually super. He's going to just forgo the high ground and jump in onto the medic, but he doesn't really get a whole lot of damage done. Arzen's going to see if he can come in and maybe make things right, but so far he's just gone down. It does mean that everyone else from Butterfly Effect, they're just running across this middle, but they just don't have the firepower at this point. They just The, the bombs didn't do enough damage, and there we go. They're going to get taken down, just eaten alive, and half wrong will survive as well, so there's a full-on push. And to second, and eventually into last, coming out here from unanimous confusion. Yeah, uh, very poor mid there from Butterfly Effect, doing the best they can. Now holding last, this is where off classes can shine the most. Engineer and heavy the essential off class for Snake War has been popped out from Butterfly Effect, but unanimous confusion has full uber as we see now the, from the right side as a soldier trying to do something. Oh, drop off from. That was uh, that was really nice. The super came in uh, from the bottom and just uh, followed up really well. He, he didn't bomb in or anything. He just kind of walked in at the, the right time and got that drop onto half wrong. Half wrong did not see it coming at all. He was uh, looking the other way. The shrink goose. He, he saw the sticky trap, but he didn't call it out. And Death will get a nice sticky trap there onto a scout. And actually, that's going to be enough for unanimous confusion to hold second. And Uber's. It still does favor Mac quite a bit, but they just don't have the players to actually push with right now. So maybe they're just going to wait for spawners. Maybe they're just going to sit on last, pushing out the snake water last, 
not easy with a small Uber advantage. Yeah, uh, as you say with the drop earlier, the soldier uh, definitely coordinated best. There, there was a distraction. As I said that, oh no, Mac lost whatever advantage she had uh, to Verdi as Faithless and Guzman killing Ben. Def, uh, returning to favor to Guzman, Faith to Faithless. The players only two left from unanimous confusion and initiate a push there as we see now the last hold. Yeah, Defta pushing in with his medic on the, the left side, so that, that's where the heals are. And he's actually stiggied out the, the spawn area, and oh my god, everyone's just getting completely chewed up. This, this sword is so weak. There we go, Spade's gonna get another kill. Uber has come out as well, and people are just pouring onto the point and just being eaten by the soldier. Like, Spade got so many easy kills just on that last push there. He just like did some spam rockets, and like, yeah, he hit him. But that was the easiest kills he's ever gotten, and he just like blew up the enemy team entirely there. So, just great damage coming out, and just focus fire was on point coming up from unanimous confusion that's going to make it one to zero in about five minutes all right then uh, as we see now the second mid and uh, no soldier bombs as of yet uh soldier getting the upper advantage as i said a double soldier bomb from both the combos uh shupa and rsn done to spade and oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god absolutely demolished <laughs> matt is going to be the last one alive as uh, speed will prolong his death. Not and actually the last the... one alive. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was Lunar, but he, he got uh, summarily executed there by the scout. Just uh, head lopped off. And Hefron will survive. And uh, <laughs> people. You are yeah, they're, they're just getting ready to go in on to last already. I think they're not even going to wait for the spawners to come in. They're, they're going to just have to catch up. Okay, look like they are going to just wait for them a little bit. But actually, Soda jumps out very aggressively. Arsen trying to be a hero. Uh, looks like he's just not going to be able to do much there. But here comes the push. Uh, push now initiated from uh, Red Team. Uber has not yet been popped. Now has been popped. Fate getting the uh, Sentry Gun Fateless. Fate killing Shiba as the attack has been initiated. Blue team is getting pushed on their spawn, no time to retaliate as unanim unanimous confusion getting the second round. Really good job of them to just immediately put time onto the point. Uh, as soon as people are being pushed into spawn, you often see people just keep on trying to go for the kills and lock off the chokes, and then they just forget to put time onto the point, and then you just end up having all those respawns just come out of spawn and just block the point and cap it out. But they were not going to fall for that, so 2-0. to zero. And uh, it's already pretty early on. They, they, they've been looking strong so far. We see Ben on the high ground here, but the Soldier RSN comes in, does a ton of damage to counter. The, the follow up, I should say, comes in as well. And that was a really strong Soldier Bomb coming in here. I mentioned it in the pregame. And Death actually gets Mac oh, no. really importantly at the very end of that middle. He had no business getting the Mac, but he just does. But the, the double Soldier Bomb, they're really winning that mid for a butterfly effect. Yeah, they were attempting that for the last three rounds, finally getting the gist of it uh, on this mid. But this uh, death there, killing the mag very clutch as it comes for a half wrong slight add. Mac is catching up as the anonymous confusion uh, retaking second eventually as they opted for a uber push. Dipa uh, trying to do a jump. And RSN! Oh, the air shot by oh. Fade onto RSN. See you later. See you later. RSN Jesus. was trying to do a hero bomb. Alfram was already on low health. Fairly oh, right. there. The with see you safe. later. Air shot. Nullifying any attempt there. My, my condolences as unanimous confusion. Uh, ping mid and whatever fourth spawn that was left from blue butterfly effect was stuck in spawn and spawn but rsn is still there yeah, rsn he's still behind so he's just waiting like surely no one would stay in spawn that long when he's already been called right yeah there goes the stiggies and there goes rsn so he's behind so he actually made a pretty smart play there but oh he's been spotted yeah he's on the back left, but the uber is in just really aggressively and they have to put time onto the point never mind it's uh, good try. Maybe a pain train would have been in order there. Uh, very much uh, a valiant attempt there. As 3-0 already, 20, still 23 minutes remaining. 
and for the fourth map, I believe that in this map, Griezmann is actually the faster demo uh, against that as teams pouring out from their respective looks there. No bombs as of yet, uh, but we might see a bomb there from Chupa getting banned there, but a uh, counter bomb from Perry. Mac and Grace gets airshot by Schubert, but he actually somehow survives. But the, the double sword bomb is about to come in here. They do Ooh, get the medic. Got and the come from. Where did they cut you there? Yeah, that was a uh, <laughs> very chaotic mid. Everyone just uh, got absolutely blown up. Nice airshot from Schubert to just send people reeling, and then the the sword bomb coming in. I, the sword bombs have been really key so far four butterfly effect on these mids, but this time around it just wasn't okay. quite enough to, to follow up, but... Oh my god, Medic saved to the sky when he gets air shot! Please. Destroyed! Please. And cratered! Oh my god, Spade! Spade with the suicide! Damn, on Mac! He didn't know, know it that was even possible! Mac, Mac died to a crater! Oh, yeah, like he just got hit in the head. That's the best kind of airshot you can hit when you hit people in the head to so just go careening into the ground. That is an absolutely insane shot from Spade. <laughs> like that kind of suicide play is... It never works, alright? It's like a 1% play, but Spade is the 1%. And he actually hit it. So they're gonna have a big uber advantage now. And they're gonna be ready to push in here. There's not even a, a pyro or a sniper or anything for them to deal with, so they could potentially get really far in. The sentry's gun is level one, so things are looking good. Obey has been popped from the right side. Sentry was dealt with immediately. Uh, Cap has been initiated. Day's getting killed by Faithless. Goodbye. Good like that. Max serves away, and it's gonna be a last hold for Butterfly Effect. He's been killing Capron. The soldier is still on set. Last. Still haven't died yet. The soldier in the demo is, and the scout is the only one remaining. It's unanimous confusion. Better DM, better positioning. 4 0. Yeah, that was a. Uh... Almost a good hold there. It was a really nice serve from Mac, and he was be taking some amount of beating as well there. And that was almost enough for, for his team to get out of ahead there, but uh, deft. And it was either Ben or Ray's that scout there just came in and just did a nice bit of cleanup, and that just made it 4 to 0. And, <laughs> and uh, Spade oh, was just doing amazing. amazing! Gets the scout as well, just destroyed. I'm not sure if that was a wall shot or. Or an air shot, but either way, he destroyed that scout, and Mac has gone down as well. This is looking like it's just going to be a complete roll. Demo Man gets taken down as well as he was trying to lay down some stickies for on the medic, and man, Spade is just going absolutely nuts right now. Super's going to actually hide around the corner. Can he get it? He might get it. He's on saw, but he's been spotted uh, by the scout there. He's going to die eventually if he is not. Oh. He'll get out eventually. That was <laughs> got a close call. It was definitely a close call. As nah, Butterfly was Effect, yeah, as Butterfly Effect is shaping up for what will be either their, their last hold or another attempt to live win. Yeah, they got the Uber advantage to work with, and so far they've just been up to go through the shuttle door, and they're going to do that again. Sending so they're going to go down immediately. The Soda's kind of been making his way behind line. Shooter actually buying a ton of time there. Everyone was just looking for him, and now it's just going to be a straight-on fight. Medic goes down, so no heals right now in favor of Unanimous Confused, but they got so much time on through the point, and Ray's going to cap it, and that's going to be it. 5-0, to zero, really convincing win coming out there. It just seemed at some point Spade just decided to just be a living god and just carry that momentum for his entire team and they just take those last three three to two rounds in very convincing fashion, make it five to zero. And they're gonna get all the points. How many points do you get for a game? How is the point system actually organized yeah, in Osport? Alright, okay, so it, it it's probably the same as ETF-12, what uh, we're going to go with here. And that's that going to mean that you get three points per map. So that's going to be six points. And they're going to join Big Chongas in uh, the winner's category. This is week one, so eh, don't get uh, too caught up on, on the point situation just yet. But uh, yeah, good start for sure. And that's <laughs> definitely actually an insane amount of highlight plays going on in this snake world. This is like the most entertaining. Uh, Someone to make a frag fit.
a frag highlight of this match. And I have my logs here, Peter. And of course, our MVP of this map is going to be Spain 20 to 6, damage 3006, 3.6k, and three air shots to his name. Spain, what a performance on Snake Water. Absolutely demolishing the entire roster. Yeah, there was no hiding from him. Uh, pretty interesting, actually, that he was not the, the, the top damage. The, it was actually Raze, the scout, who went 12 for 3. So that's also a very good performance coming out from him. And uh, Deft went 13 for 2. So the, the KDs were just looking like 5-0 stats, basically. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, this was uh, not even close. Like, the, the mid-fights were, were a fight. Uh, it it went five no four four mid wins in favor of uh, unanimous confusion and they lost one but they weren't like really good mid wins a whole lot of them like it was very close so probably mid fights would be uh, a good area for them to look at and, and maybe ask themselves why why are we sucking on these mids but yeah I just probably can't glean too much from these locks yeah the mid yeah. Team kills, oh my god. Uh, from that map only, uh, Butterfly of Life only uh, get 27 kills team wise to Unanimous Confusions uh, 63, almost double, even triple, uh, maybe not triple, but double the amount, maybe even more. Uh, definitely another 5 0 stats, and what a what a good way to start the season. What an amazing way to start the season. You, you know what I want to happen? I, I want to hear from Spade. I'm, I see him in this mumble. So uh, and, um, if we can get him in here and, and hear what, what, what Spade has to say. So, yeah, we are now joined by Spade. And uh, big congratulations on your, your first season win. How was your feeling going into this? Uh, yeah, it was good. Just trying to play as solid as possible, not fall victim to their... Uh, Let's say unpopular style of play. Yeah. Uh, so definitely, see, we see from both maps that you guys absolutely uh, demolished the butterfly effect. You guys dominated the map. Uh, were there any sort of thoughts or strategy coming on, coming into the game as a whole? I. Uh, you mean like concerns or? Yeah, concerns or whatever. Um, we just wanted to not. Like Gooseman has a lot of potential to ruin your you ruin your match if uh, you let him get away with too much. So we're just trying to really limit how much he could get away with, especially on um, Snake Order. I started just sitting behind our med on mid because I noticed both their soldiers are just jumping and like easy kills. So yeah, the the soldiers were were being very aggressive on middle, and to be fair, it was working quite a lot. I I noticed you guys were definitely having some troubles with the, was, the mid fights. It was working on Galliosh, but I. Just sitting like literally on top of half from on Snake Quarter, and they couldn't kill him. They're both, I don't know why they're jumping out Medicom mid, but easy kill for me. Definitely easy yeah. kill for you. Uh, but talking about Gullywash a bit, uh, like you said, you were caught on caught out by the two rounds from Butterfly Effect. There, what was what was your trouble there? Uh, within um, those two rounds, it's really. Uh, Small problem on mid with uh, Gooseman runs the the sticky the quickie bomb launcher I think it is. It's uh, really hard to get into mid without taking a crap load of damage. So I don't know. We try going choke to like deal with it and just play slower, but I don't know. It didn't really work. So we're all just sitting in choke the whole mid. So I don't know. Then we started going their side, which worked. So we're just kind of experimenting to see what would work, and then try and keep doing that. All right, and uh, I. I you know, we have to ask you about the, the last five minutes of Snake Water because it seemed like if there was people in the air, you would just hated them and you just shot them down. <laughs> what was going through your head while you were just yeah. destroying everyone there? I um, I'm very happy that Mac died to that that one on last because I, I I could see in the air I hit him 155. If he didn't crater off that, I would be very upset. I think did I get one on there, Scout as well on mid? I think. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, I, I couldn't yeah. tell if he was like the wall or. Yeah, no, whatever, but I, I he think, died. Pretty sure I directed him. And then I, <laughs> yeah, I right. think I would got faithless on. I think Gully Wash as well. I got a really nice one. Yeah, your yeah, your air shot 
was definitely the highlights and definitely your uh, decisions to at least take the moment and definitely go with it uh, as shown with the last play there. So uh, again, week one, you did well. What's your goal then for week two? Um, I think we, we're, I think we're playing um, the same team we played in the Summer Cup. So interesting, uh, interesting rematch. I, I think someone said Ivan is away, so see what they're like. We don't have Rocky anymore. We've changed our roster a little bit. So an interesting rematch, but yeah, it should be a good game. Just uh, happy we won that one because uh, as long as we can not choke anymore, we should make playoffs, so it's good. All right. I, I have no further questions. You even touched on what your, your goal for the season is. So, yeah, unless you have any questions, Concord, I think we should just no, uh, let really. Spade have some shout-outs. All right. Get, hit us with some shout-outs, Spade, and then uh, we will just uh, fade into the night. Um, so, shout-out, of course, to my team and the other team for a really good match. Um, shout-out to you guys for casting, uh, everybody in stream chat watching. Uh, the admins, especially Foslam, who I just seen has sent me a message before the match. And I haven't replied to it because I didn't see it. Sorry. Um, yeah, thanks to Fane for coming in last minute when Rocky left. That's all. All right, I'm done. All right, so uh, I think that's it from tonight. Uh, shout outs to uh, you guys watching on stream. Thank you for watching the first uh, casted match of season 24. That was. Unanimous Confusion winning 2-0 on Snake Water and Gollywash. Shout out to, again, Asia Protest community. Can't wait for AFC 15. And shout out to you, Beater, and as well, WeTube and Falsum for organizing this cast. And I think that's it for me. Yeah, good night.